okay in today's topic i will talk about uh, how the tumor cells are inhibiting the function of the immune system okay so let's say this is let me draw a picture here let's say this is a person he is having tumor melanoma so that means the tumor cells are proliferating in his body so yeah. what happens tumor cells has the capacity to evade the immune system what is the meaning of evading the immune system that means they are inhibiting the function of the immune system like the t cell so that t cells cannot kill the tumor cells and they are proliferating in our body so tumor cells have the capacity to decrease the function of cd8 t cells why cd8 t cells i am going to explain so that they these tumor cells what they are doing that these tumor cells which are proliferating they are decreasing the function of the cytotoxic t cell so that the tumor is multiplying but nowadays they have they give a uh, antibody that is called the monoclonal antibody so when we give monoclonal antibody what this antibody will do they will activate they will activate the t cells and now the t cells is ready to kill the tumor okay this is the main reason for this topic okay so before we talk about the t cells and co stimulatory signal i am going to explain what is a uh, antigen presenting cell and how the t cells are getting stimulated so can you name what are the antigen presenting cell anu macrophages very good it's a macrophage mm -hmm. dendritic cell yes very good macrophage or dendritic cell b cell right b cell yeah, b cell is a, this one and then you have the langerhans cells which is in the skin right so these are all the antigen presenting cell so these antigen presenting cell you see they have msc on their surface and they also have a protein called b7 on their surface this msc will give the antigen to the t cell because t cells cannot recognize the antigen any antigen okay yeah. so the antigen presenting cell is presenting this antigen to the t cells with the help of msc and the t cell has a t cell receptor and a protein called cd28 so this is the first signal and this is called the co stimulatory signal what is the co stimulatory signal the b7 on the antigen presenting cell and the cd28 on the t cell they should interact so that the t cell is activated and why we are interested for cytotoxic t cell because what is the function of cytotoxic t cell cd8 t cell it will kill the Antimuscles. Antimuscles. very yeah. good very good it is because we, as we discuss in immunology right so anti viral and anti tumor properties okay anti viral and anti tumor properties since we are talking about tumor so do you know doctor that any other cell which has an anti viral and anti tumor property except the cd8 t cells cd4 uh, t cells the this is a natural killer cells okay yeah natural killer cells that also has an anti viral and an anti tumor properties okay so we saw that how the t cell is getting activated the t cell is getting activated with the co stimulatory signal and with the msc and the t cell receptor where the antigen is given to the t cell now the t cell is activated and what is the function of cytotoxic t cell it is an anti viral and anti tumor properties so now when the t cell is activated it will release porphyrins and granules and that will destroy the tumor cells or it will cause apoptosis of the tumor right yeah. so that is the death of the tumor cells apoptosis so now in this picture i am going to explain you how does a t cell is getting inhibited and function of the t cell is getting inhibited and how monoclonal antibody is effective in the t cell activation okay so look at this picture here 
what we saw as this person who is having a tumor this person has a melanoma right this person has a melanoma so this tumor how it is decreasing our uh, function of the cytotoxic t cell is that if you look at this picture here you see this is a tumor cells the tumor cells and this is the t cell cd8 t cell the tumor cells express what is called program death pdl ligand 1 on their surface okay and they also have b7 on the surface and the t cells they have pd1 that is programmed at 1 and not to confuse pdl1 is on the tumor and pd1 is on the t cell and b7 on the tumor cells and ctla4 what is this ctla4 now this is a cytotoxic t lymphocyte antigen protein 4 so when there is an interaction between ctla4 and b7 they are inhibiting the function of the t cells what is the function of t cell it is an anti tumor property cd8 t cell right mm. yeah. so another important concept t cells when it has cd28 it binds to b cell then the t cells get activated but in a tumor cells when they have in a tumor when there is too much expression of ctla4 the ctla4 is more so they are out competing with the cd28 they are not allowing cd28 to bind to the b7 mm. did you get that so they are competing with the cd28 to bind because when cd28 binds to b7 then the t cell is activated but when then ctla4 is binding to the b7 the t cell is exhausted or not functioning at all its function is inhibited so there is more and more growth of the tumor cells did you get it so yes. now you want that, you, that now you see that here we want to give the monoclonal antibody how it is going to help us because when you give a monoclonal antibody against pd1 and again the ctla4 there is a no interaction between the tumor cells and uh, the pdl1 and now the t cell is getting activated and now the t cell is ready to kill the tumor cells and cause apoptosis of those cells did you get it yeah, yeah. yes so again repeating quickly let's say that a patient has a tumor in his body a tumor has the capacity okay it has a capacity this is given in general immunology in a, in a first aid they have the capacity that they decrease our body's immune system so we are giving monoclonal antibody so that the t cells are activated and they will kill the tumor cells and here we saw that how the T cell is getting activated because T cells cannot recognize the antigen. It is the antigen presenting cells which is giving the T cell, uh, which is giving the antigen to the T cell, and now the T cell is activated along with the post-stimulatory signal. Okay, but if a patient has a tumor, there is a more expression of PDL1 and B7, and B7 is always uh, present on the surface and there is an expression of PD-1 and CTLA-4 on the T cell. So this CTLA-4 is competing with the CD-28 to bind with the B7. So when there is interaction between these two, the T cell is not getting activated, rather they are inhibited. So now the T cell, cytotoxic T cell is uh, one of the function is to kill the tumor. They are not able to kill the tumor. So there are monoclonal antibodies uh, which are very important in killing tumors like melanoma, lung cancers, renal cell carcinoma, okay. So these monoclonal antibody, they bind to this PD-1 so that there is no interaction, you see, there is no interaction because if there is interaction, the T cell is getting uh, inhibited. So you don't want the interaction between these two. And you don't want that there will be interaction between CTLO4 and B7. So you give monoclonal antibody. So the T cell is activated to cause apoptosis of the tumor cells. Clear? Yes, it's clear. So I also want the other students and also I want you that you write in the comment what are the monoclonal antibodies we use 
uh, but I just told the name of the I just told the monoclonal antibodies right so you can mention in the comment what are the name of the monoclonal antibodies uh, so that there will be interaction between the person who are watching and listening this video okay yeah. Yeah. thank you so much thank you